Hey guys, it's been a while since I last updated, apart from when uh, my last video was talking to Maddie's brothers about how they, what they know about the transgender community. So an update for you is that I finally had my second appointment with Jessica and I met Dr. Lorimer and he is the most amazing guy on this earth. There is, there is no explanation for him. He is funny, brilliant and all round friendly. He, he made me feel comfortable the whole time I was there, along with my mum. Well, just to keep it short, I, he's prescribed me sustenance, which means that I am ready to start testosterone, <laughs> which is a really, really crazy feeling. It's Boots today, it was a private prescription, and basically ordered it in, and I should be picking it up tomorrow around 3 o'clock. So hopefully my shot should be around that time, which means tomorrow, I will no longer be pre-testosterone, which is such a crazy thought. <laughs> Mum will be injecting me. Uh, we've got all the needles at the ready. I mean, they're all under my desk. I mean, you can kind of see them. Ignore the mess of the desk, but you've got like the sharps box and then the needles and stuff there. Yeah. Anywho. So yeah, Mum's Mum's going to be doing it. She's going to be my my designated nurse as such. Um, she wants to be the first one to stick a needle in me. Sustenin, basically, for those that don't know, is a intramuscular, it's like the depot. If anybody's heard of the depot, it sort of, it goes right to the muscle and it disperses slowly over time. And, and mum wants to stick it basically in my ass, whereas most people do it in their thigh. I'm just going to let her do her thing. She knows what she's doing. And I will, I will promise that I will record, film, whatever you want to call it, my first shot being done. You can all see that. You can meet my mum. So yeah, that, that should be done tomorrow for you, which means you should have the video either tomorrow or the end of the week with feelings, all of that. At the appointment, we, as well as talking about uh, the hormones, we also talked about what plans I had in the future, my transition. And so, as most of you know, I definitely want to have top surgery, chest surgery. It's something that needs to go, it's, it's not my friend. And in all honesty, if I could have had top surgery before hormones, I would have only because it's my chest that annoys me more than anything else. I mean, I it's 50-50 on days when I could pass as male. Uh, some people see me as male, some people see me as female. Sometimes it's my voice that gives me away. Sometimes I just look more feminine in clothing than other clothing. So yeah, we, we talked about top surgery. He asked if I'd researched any surgeons. I was worried about this because I'd literally only just talked to mum about top surgery whilst we were waiting in the train station. I hadn't spoken about it before. And I told her that I really want to go with Dr. Garamone. And I basically explained him as the heaven sent angel for trans guys that were having chest surgery. I think she realises how important he is to me and how important his results are. Like, they're just phenomenal. He is, his, he, he works on his own, well, not on his own, but it's his own clinic which is only for trans guys so he doesn't do anything else like cosmetic surgery or plastic surgery all of that he he only does chest surgery for trans guys which means that obviously it's going to make him a hell of a lot better than the rest because he's more advanced he has so much more experience and i haven't seen any bad result from him mum's support on that which i didn't expect i am hoping to save up and go private with Dr. Garamone. He will cost roughly £8,500. That's obviously converted from dollars. That includes surgery, uh, hospital fees, the anaesthetist, travel, accommodation, all of this. Uh, so it's pricey, but I, I reckon I can do it. The only issue is she doesn't want me to go alone. Fair enough, be a little bit worried about going alone. Uh, I'd have to be in Florida. That's, that's where Dr. Garamone is, if I didn't mention that before, he's in Florida. I need to find someone that will go with me for two weeks, Florida. <laughs> I mean, how bad could that be? So it's basically a two-week holiday for you. Also, you need to take really good care of me. I mean, mum might be able to come. It honestly just depends when I can get this surgery. If there's any offers, I'm happy to hear them. As long as you promise that you will take good care of me because I will be probably in a lot of pain, not be able to do much for myself. And in all honesty, you might have to help dress me. Oh, and you've also not got to be squeamish at the at the idea of blood and stuff like that, because there's, there's going to be, there's, there's going to be. Uh, and you'll also see me cry, probably. I will, I will probably cry. So, that's everything. The extra bit is to fund um, my transition. 
We'll get my GoFundMe back up again in case there is anybody that wants to do donations. Uh, but I'm not. I'm not asking. I'm just saying it's there. Uh, I will also be offering services such as washing cars and gardening, and anything else that you can think of to raise more money. Uh, that can either go straight as cash to me or go straight into my GoFundMe. I think that's everything. You'll have a video of my first shop tomorrow. Thanks for watching again. Subscribe if you haven't already subscribed. Uh, yeah, so I shall see you all later.